Hello, my dear students of third prep. Today we are going to start our last lesson in the syllabus of the first term, which is the equation of the straight line knowing its slope and its y-intercept. Let us start by the first example. The equation of the straight line given its slope and its y-intercept. First of all, we want to represent graphically the relation y equals 2x plus 1. And from the graph, try to calculate the slope of the straight line and the length of the vertical part included between the origin point and the intersection point of the straight line with the y-axis. At the very beginning, to represent graphically any relation as we have taken we are going to that's correct plot a table so we are going to form a table values of x values of y and we are going to put the values of x as 0 1 and 2 somebody else says no i'm going to choose negative 1 0 and 1 it's okay Somebody else says, I'm going to choose only two values for the x, and this will be also correct. I prefer you to choose three values for x to be sure that your drawing is correct. So by substituting by the value of x in the relation, you are going to find that the value of y will be 1. And by substituting for x equals 1, the value of y will be 3. And by substituting for x equals 2, the value of y will be 5. In this case, we have three order pairs, 0 and 1, 1 and 3, and finally, 2 and 5. Try to plot these three points graphically. So, draw the two axes. The first point is 0 and 1, the second is 1 and 3, and the last is 2 and 5. Join these three points together. You are going to obtain a straight line. So we can say that this relation is represented graphically by straight line. Intersecting the x and the y axes. So first of all, to intersect the y axis, the value of x will be 0. So when x equals 0, the value of y will be 1. And in this case, we can say that this straight line intersects the y-axis at the point 0 and 1. What about the intersection point with the x-axis? And here, in this case, we can say that the vertical part will be 1. Then, what about the intersection point with the x-axis? To intersect the x-axis, the value of y will be 0. And by substituting for y equals 0, you are going to notice that the point will be negative half and 0. Then, to find the slope of the straight line, you are going to take two points and substitute. So, slope of the straight line m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So it is 3 minus 1 over 1 minus 0 to obtain slope as 2. And in this case, we can say that the straight line cuts one unit from the y-axis and its slope is 2. Then we can say that y equals mx plus c is called equation of straight line where m is the slope of the straight line and c is the y intercept so the general form of the equation of the straight line is that shown in front of you y equals mx plus c what about m and what about c m is the slope of the straight line and c is the y intercept it means the number of units cut from the y-axis. Now, let us have some examples. 
find the equation of the straight line whose slope is 5 and cuts three parts from the positive direction of the y axis. You know that equation of straight line, its general form is y equals mx plus c. What about the slope of the straight line? It is 5. What about the c, which is the y-intercept? It is 3. So by substituting, you are going to notice that y equals 5x plus 3. Another example, find equation of straight line whose slope is 2 and cuts 5 parts from the negative direction of the y-axis. From the negative direction. What does it mean? It means that if the equation of the straight line y equals mx plus c, it means that the slope equals 2 and the c will be negative 5 as it cuts 5 parts from the negative direction. So the c will be negative 5. And here we can say by substituting that y equals 2x minus 5. Let us have another example. Find equation of straight line passing through the points negative 1 and 3 and 4 and 8. Here you have a straight line passing through two points and I want you to find the equation of the straight line. To find equation of the straight line you must know its slope and its y-intercept. So first of all try to find the slope of the straight line. What about the slope of the straight line? It is denoted by m which is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So it is 8 minus 3 over 4 minus negative 1. To obtain a result as 5 over 5, which is equal to 1. Here you know that the slope is 1. And what about the equation of the straight line? It is y equals mx plus c. What about the slope? It is 1. So we are going to substitute for the value of m equals 1. Then it is equal to y equals 1x plus c. Here to find the value of c, you must substitute with any of the two points which the straight line passes through. We can substitute by negative 1 and 3 or 4 and 8. You are going to choose what you like. And both of them will give the same answer. And try to solve it by the two points to obtain the same result. I'm going to substitute with the point negative 1 and 3. It means that x is negative 1 and y equals 3. So by substituting y, which is 3, equals 1 times x, which is negative 1, plus c. And in this case, we can find that c equals 4. So the y-intercept will be 4 parts. So we can say that y equals 1x plus 4, which is mx plus c. Find equation of straight line passing through the point negative 2 and 4 and parallel to the x-axis. Take care. Parallel to the x-axis. First of all, as the straight line is parallel to the x-axis, what do you remember? Since the straight line is parallel to the x-axis, it means that the slope of this straight line equals what? Equals 0. Then y equals mx plus c. The slope is 0, so 0 times x equals 0. And in this case, we can find that y equals, that's correct, y equals c. What about c? Yes, c, which is the y. What about y? It's 4. 
so we can say that the value of y equals so c equals 4 another example find equation of straight line passing through the point 1 and 3 and parallel to the y axis do you remember what about the slope of the straight line parallel to the y axis take care now since the straight line is parallel to the y axis you are going to notice that the equation of the straight line is x equals constant so it is x equals 1 let us have another example find equation of straight line passing through 1 and 2 and perpendicular to the straight line passing through the two points a 2 and negative 3 and b 5 and negative 4 first of all to find the equation of a straight line parallel to another you must find first the slope of the other line which is AB so slope of the straight line passing through A and B will be denoted by M1 and it is equal to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1 and in this case we can say that M1 equals negative 4 minus negative 3 over 5 minus 2 to obtain a result as negative 1 over 3 and since the product of the slopes of any two perpendicular straight lines equals negative 1 so m1 times m2 will be negative 1 what about the value of m1 it is negative 1 over 3 multiplied by m2 equals negative 1 to find the value of m2 we are going to divide both sides by negative 1 over 3 so m2 will be 3 and here we have found that the slope of the other straight line is 3 it means that the slope of the required line will be 3 so y equals mx plus c instead of m we can write 3 so y equals 3x plus c what about c can you find the value of c of course by substituting by any point in which the straight line passes through the new straight line passes through which point passes through 1 and 2 so we are going to substitute by the point 1 and 2 it means x equals 1 y equals 2 so 2 equals 3 times 1 plus c and in this case we can say that c equals negative 1 so the equation of the straight line will be y equals 3x minus 1 and this is called the equation of the straight line passing through the one the point 1 and 2 and its slope is 3 let us have another example if the point 0 and a belongs to the straight line 3x minus 4y plus 12 equals 0 find the value of a a point belongs to the straight line it means that when substituting it will satisfy the equation so we can say here that the value of x will be 0 and the value of y will be a and by substituting as 0 and a belongs to the straight line so 0 and a can be substituted in the equation so 0 and a equals 3x minus 4y plus 12 equals 0 substituting so 3 times 0 minus 4 times a plus 12 equals 0 now by collecting like terms you are going to obtain a result as negative 4a plus 12 equals 0 so it is negative 4a equals negative 12 to find the value of a we are going to divide both sides by negative 4 so the value of a will be 3 another example if a negative 2 and 4 b 4 and 1 c 2 and 3 find equation of the straight line passing through a and bisecting bc 
What's bisecting? It means dividing BC into two equal parts. So we want to find the equation of the straight line which passes through the point A and bisecting BC. Bisecting BC, it means that this straight line will pass through the midpoint of BC. So first of all, we must find the, the midpoint of BC. What about B and C? 4 and 1 and 2 and 3. So try to find the midpoint of BC, which is equal to, that's correct, x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2, which is equal to 4 plus 2 over 2 and 1 plus 3 over 2. To obtain a result as 3 and 2. Now we can say that D, which is the midpoint of BC, equals 3 and 2. Now, you have a straight line which passes through two points, which are A and D, which is the midpoint. So we can say that we can find the slope of AD. How slope of AD is denoted by M. So M equals 2 minus 4 over 3 minus negative 2 to obtain a result as negative 2 over 5. And this is the slope of AD. And we can say that this slope will be the slope of the equation required. Then y equals mx plus c. What about m? It is negative 2 over 5. So we can say that y equals negative 2 over 5x plus c. To find the value of c, you must set the, you must substitute by a point in which the straight line passes through. It may be A or D. I am going to choose the point A. So by substituting by the point A negative 2 and 4, it means x equals negative 2 and y equals 4. So we can say that 4 equals negative 2 over 5 times negative 2 plus C. In this case, we can find that C equals 16 over 5. So the equation of the straight line will be Y equals negative 2 over 5X plus 16 over 5. Now, we are going here to notice that if you have equation of a straight line, written in the form of ax plus by plus c equals 0, and you want to find the slope of this straight line. What are you going to do? First of all, you must find b by itself. So by equals negative ax minus c. And dividing both sides of the equation by b, so you are going to obtain y equals negative a over bx minus c over b. What about the coefficient of x? It is negative a over b. And the equation of straight line says y equals mx plus c. So we can notice that m is going to be negative a over b. And in this case, we can say that the slope of the straight line equals negative a over b. What about a? And what about b? a is the coefficient of x, and b is the coefficient of y. So we can say that the slope of the straight line equals negative coefficient of x over coefficient of y, which is negative a over b. Let us have some examples. Find the slope of the straight line, 2x minus 3y plus 5 equals 0. What about the slope? The slope is negative coefficient of x over coefficient of y. So it is negative 2 over negative 3, which is equal to 2 over 3. So we can say that the slope of such an equation of straight line is 2 over 3. Or in other words, it may be solved in another way. How? negative 3y equals negative 2x minus 5. By dividing both sides by negative 3, you are going to find that 
y equals negative 2 over negative 3x plus negative 5 over negative 3. So it is y equals 2 over 3x plus 5 over 3. What about the coefficient of x? It is 2 over 3. So in this case, we can say that the slope equals 2 over 3. Another example, try to find the slope of the equation x over 5 plus y over 2 equals 1. First of all, you have denominators, and you cannot solve such a problem unless no denominators are found. So try to remove the denominators. How? We are going first to multiply the two denominators by each other. So 5 multiplied by 2 equals 10. Then try to multiply the whole equation by 10. So x over 5 times 10 gives 2x. y over 2 times 10 gives 5y. Equals 1 times 10 gives 10. Then what about y? Try to find y. So 5y first equals negative 2x plus 10. Then what about y? By dividing both sides by 5, so y equals negative 2 over 5x plus 10 over 5. And in this case, we can say that the slope of the straight line will be negative 2 over 5. Now, let us have another example. Find equation of straight line passing through the point 3 and negative 5 and parallel to the straight line x plus 2y minus 7 equals 0. Now you want to find an equation of a straight line passing through a point and parallel to the straight line x plus 2y minus 7 equals 0. What's the meaning of that the straight line is parallel to the straight line x plus 2y minus 7 equals 0? We know that if the two straight lines are parallel, then their slopes are equal. This means that if you find the slope from the equation x plus 2y minus 7 equals 0, it is, will be the same as the slope of the required line. So try to find the slope of the straight line x plus 2y minus 7 equals 0. Then slope of the required line will be m. It is negative coefficient of x over coefficient of y. So it is negative 1 over 2. It means that the slope of the required line will be negative 1 over 2. So y equals mx plus c. Substitute for the value of m as negative 1 over 2. Then y equals negative half x plus c. To find the value of c, you must substitute by a point the straight line passes through, which is 3 and negative 5. Then by substituting for x equals 3 and y equals negative 5, it will be negative 5 equals negative half times 3 plus c. So c will be negative 7 over 2. And here we can say that y equals negative half x minus 7 over 2. Let us have another example. Find equation of straight line which intercepts from the x and y axes two positive parts of length 4 and 9 respectively. It means that the straight line cuts from the x-axis four parts and from the y-axis nine parts. So the straight line cuts the x-axis at the point what and what? Four and zero. And the y-axis it cuts at the point zero and nine. So you have now two points in which the straight line passes through. Can you find from these two points the slope of the straight line? Yes, the slope of the straight line M will be, that's correct, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So it is 9 minus 0 over 0 minus 4. 
to obtain a result as negative 9 over 4. And this is going to be the slope of the straight line. So as the equation of the straight line is y equals mx plus c by substituting for the value of m, so it is y equals negative 9 over 4x plus c. That's correct. To find the value of c, you are going to substitute by any point in which the straight line passes through. I am going to choose the point 0 and 9. You can choose the other one, and both of them will give the same answer. So it is 9 equals negative 9 over 4 times 0 plus c. To obtain a result for the value of c as 9. In this case, we can say that y equals negative 9 over 4x plus 9. Another example, find the slope intercepted part of the y-axis of the straight line whose equation is x over 2 plus y over 3 equals 1. We have taken before that when you have denominators, you cannot find either the slope or the y-intercept. So by multiplying 2 by 3, it will be 6. So we are going to multiply the whole equation x over 2 plus y over 3 equals 1 by 6. Then you are going to obtain a result as 3x plus 2y equals 6. Now can you find y? Of course, yes. Then 2y will be 6 minus 3x. And in this case, we can say that only y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 3. What about the slope? It is the coefficient of x. So we can say now that the slope will be negative 3 over 2. What about c? It is the y-intercept. What about c? The value of c will be 3 end of this lesson we have reached the end of our lesson today and the end of our syllabus and we'll meet next lesson to have some general exercises so please pay attention with me thank you for good listening and goodbye